Kanye West claims that what he does on stage is like being a police officer and that he is, in fact, putting his life on the line when he performs. You know, I think Kanye is a great artist, but it's like sometimes when he talks about how full of himself he is, it's just too much. Uh, you know, Kanye West, he thinks Kim Kardashian is the most beautiful woman on earth. And uh, he was uh, appearing, Kanye was appearing at, uh, at a huge convent, uh, con uh, stadium that, that seats 9,500 people, and he only filled 4,500 seats Why is on that? his Yeezus tour. Because he gets on stage and he starts ranting and raving about Louis Vuitton and them not wanting to work with Kanye West as a designer, please, you know. I mean, he has a bad reputation. I mean, after the whole Taylor Swift thing, everything was just downhill from there. I completely agree. What, what, what are you talking about um, for the Taylor Swift thing, for those of you that don't know about it in the UK? Right. This was like a few years ago. I'm thinking it was like 2008, 2009, when uh, she was going to accept a music award for like best music video. At the VMAs, right? The VMAs. And Kanye got up on stage and he was like, Beyonce had the best video of all time. Yeah. With the microphone for poor, from poor little T Swift. The but that really, you know, the, girl. Yeah, sorry, the VMAs can really put, uh, you know, record sales to, that shot up. Now, Katy Perry wasn't as famous as she was until after she got, you know, public sympathy for Kanye taking away her little 20 something girls that buy Taylor Swift's music. And uh, completely, uh, you know, sympathy did go out to Taylor Swift. In oh, fact, yeah. I felt sorry for Miss Ch Taylor She's Swift. She's still doing great, though. She's like, you know, number one country pop singer. Yeah, but uh, wait a she's minute. Up there. Have you seen the Victoria's Secrets that was recently on television here? Well, I did. You know, I was falling asleep, but I woke up because they have some of the hottest women doing Victoria's Absolutely. Secrets. Absolutely. In fact, we're going to try to get some of the Victoria's Secrets. Uh, and uh, Ms. Pam Anderson uh, to come in and be judges on the uh, Have Faith Swim Jury. They'll probably want to do It'd it. It would be amazing if we got We're, Pam Ann on here. Pam Anderson rocks. We love you out there, Pam. But um, Katy Perry stood next to the Victoria's Secrets models. And I got to be honest with you, uh, Katy Perry can't. She just stood there looking, you know, and these gir girls are like, they work out really hard. Oh, you mind so, you, they don't, they don't write so. music, but they make millions of dollars promoting their sexy little selves, uh, promoting Victoria's Secret lines. They're perfect with their perfect little TNA, tits and ass. TNA, TNA, we love that. But uh, Taylor Swift, she just stood there like, you know, a deer in the headlights. And uh, Taylor, you've got to step up your game if you're going to go on Victoria's Secrets. Adam Levine always shows up because one of his girlfriends, uh, Beha Murati, she's a very famous Victoria's Secrets model, and she's one of the secret angels. They, you know, they come down the stage, they're wearing the angel wings, and it's all very light and friendly. Do you, you know? think they're nice in person? Models? Of, of course the, they are. Most of the Victoria's Secrets models? Uh, they're dumb as dumps, but uh, actually not a, that, that dumb because uh, they're making millions of dollars a day. Yeah. That was one client that I did not get to work for. Oh, well, whatever. Orlando Bloom and Miranda Carr, the, she was a former Victoria's Secret model. She also is a big uh, girl that wears a lot of fashion. She gets all these, she, he divorced her because she just spends, she spent way too much on uh, couture, announced their plans for separation. Oh, boo hoo. Orlando Bloom got his fame doing uh, the uh, pirate movies, where he's oh, a pirate yeah. and all People the young love girls. It. Oh, and the Lord of the Rings, too. Lord of the Blings. Yes, and they have been married for two years. They are they are separated. They don't share the same bed anymore, but they are amicably sh uh, per separating. Now, but get this, Miranda it made the moves on Leonardo DiCaprio recently, and he denied her. She also tried to hit up uh, on my favorite Johnny Depp, and he denied her uh, entry. She also roll your eyes some more. She also now has a billionaire boyfriend who uh, is now buying all of the couture that she wears. Uh, and so you don't see her so much clubbing anymore. Well, I haven't seen her recently out at the nightclubs. Have you, April? No, definitely mm. not. Unbelievable. We, uh, Tiger Woods' half-brother, Earl, is, 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 is arrested and accused of making bomb threats. Okay, that's not nice. Earl Benison Woods Jr. He's clearly dream. Wait obviously. a minute. If Tiger Woods Jr. is, is Tiger Woods... And Earl Denison Woods Jr., like, who is the father? Tiger Wood 
or Earl Dennison. Yeah, who was the role model in Let's this get family? This straight. That's what I want to know. May have made a bomb threat against the building where he works. The Arizona Department of Economic Security in Phoenix, Arizona. The building was evacuated and searched, but no harmful material was found. He is Thank charged God. with one count of using an electronic device to threaten, terrify, and harass. He sticks to his story and claims that he was simply joking with his coworkers. Who jokes about bomb threats? Come on. That's not a funny thing to joke about. I'm sure that's just like what his lawyer is telling him to say. I'm, I'm sure he made a serious threat. You know, bomb threats are a serious thing. I travel quite frequently uh, to the UK, to Australia, and um, I'm, le I'm leaving on Saturday to go to uh, Wuhan, Provence, in China to have stem cell infusion on my back due, to the, nice. due to the accident right over at Rite Aid. And um, we have great hosts booked all, uh, uh, straight across the week. So, you know, I will be back to film on to start the model search, which will be the half face swimgery model search, which will be amazing. And we, you know, we are all over the United States here at Film On, and we will be uh, we will be taking um, we submit your resume and how great you look uh, in swimwear, also in lingerie, and also naked pictures of yourself because. We have to see how the bikinis would fit over the and the breasts. I have a question for you. So I hear that now it's more common that models aren't 5'8 anymore. Is that really true? Like, I always thought that you have to be like 5'8 to be a model. But no, like, you have to be 5'9 to 5'10 to a 5'11, actually. Wow. But the fabulous uh, Kate Moss is 5'7 and a half, and she has made uh, close to a billion dollars in uh, selling herself. Oh my